Hello everyone and welcome to my first off-camera fragrance tray for September video. So I also wanted to just quickly do a follow-up to my August September tray. Um, these are my first ever fragrance trays by the way. Like this is my second one, the August um, fragrance tray. I just did travel sizes which are over here and I'll just quickly go over um, my follow-up for that one and these are my September fragrance tray fragrances so initially you know although I watch a lot of um, fragrance tray videos I felt that for me to actually do one I just felt like oh like it's so restrictive I want to wear whatever I want to wear I don't want to be just limited to uh, what I put on a fragrance tray. However, after doing um, the August fragrance tray, I this was actually really helpful for me. I finished up many of these travel sizes that I had been like just holding on to and uh, it made me wear fragrances that I hadn't been reaching for. So let me just tell you really quickly about that. So this is the Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by Kayali. This is a fragrance that I absolutely love. That I'm not finished with it, obviously. Um, I do want to get a full bottle of this, but um, did I even wear this? I might have worn it like one day, but it's, it's not finished as yet. Um, I, I kind of want to get a full bottle of it before I finish it up, but um, this, this is where that's at. This is a uh, travel size of the Kylie Candy Rock Sugar fragrance. As you can see, that is done. Love that fragrance. So this one uh, is the Expressive of Commodity Juice. And this, did I finish this? I th did I finish this? No, this, this is not completely finished. But what I figured out about this fragrance is I think I wanna add it to either October or December's fragrance tray because this is a woody fruity fragrance that's what this is and I don't have I don't think I have any woody fruity fragrances in my fragrance collection I tried to um, squeeze <laughs> this fragrance into a kind of juicy category for the summer and I, for me anyway this doesn't work that great for the summer because I love this fragrance I really like it but I kept trying to figure out like why don't I reach for this? And so when I put it on my August uh, tray and I was wearing it, I'm like, this doesn't feel right for this season. I think this is gonna be better in the colder months, so I'm gonna save it for um, one of the uh, fall um, fragrance trays that I do. So the Burberry Goddess. I love this fragrance so freaking much. I'm so glad that I put it on my August uh, fragrance tray. Um, I love it. I love wearing it. Haven't finished it as yet. I kind of want to hold on to this a little bit. I definitely need to just get a larger bottle, but I kind of, when I wear this fragrance, I like to carry it around with me. Um, it has beautiful uh, projection and it's got pretty good longevity as well, but I just, I like to have it on me. It's just, it's such a wonderful fragrance. I have an emotional attachment to this. It's always just gonna be a classic, uh, but modern, um, soothing with that beautiful blend of uh, lavender and vanilla. The only fragrance that I own by Burberry, the only one that I like really. I don't, I'm not into Burberry Her or Burberry Black or any of the other burberry fragrances this this is the one for me right here so mood ring by fleur finished this quicker than i wanted to thought there was a few more sprays left in this there's nothing there's nothing um definitely will be repurchasing this it's just such a great pick-me-up fragrance I think it's probably best for the summer months, but that doesn't mean I still don't want to just pick one up again soon. And what I love about this um, travel size, 
for all of Fleur's travel sizes is that the atomizer comes out so you can reuse this you can put more of the same fragrance in it you can put other fragrances in it you can do whatever i, I love that about Fleur's travel sizes i believe this is there another one i have like that i might have another travel size from another brand that also has a reusable bottle um but this is one of the first ones that i have purchased and i really love love that so for net Coco Vanille and Coco Fleur. We knew that these were going to be easy to finish. There was hardly any left in them, but I will say that for the little bit that each of these had at the bottom, it took me a, a, maybe two or three days to really finish it. I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm not a scientist, but I will look into it. Uh, Cause Mood Ring, it was done in like, you know, a day and a half. It was done. I thought that I had more left in there but it didn't last. Whereas these had very little bits on the bottom. And, and but I think what it is, is that the projection and longevity on these is really good. So I found that I didn't have to spray them a lot to top off during the day. And that's probably why it lasted a little longer than I expected. But I, I love both these fragrances. I have full bottles of both of these fragrances and I, I enjoy, I, I love wearing these. I love both of them. I sniff the full bottles all the time. Okay, so that is it for my follow-up to my August fragrance tray. And these fragrances I've selected for September. Um, literally the first or second day of September, where it started getting chilly in the air in the morning, I picked up my commodity milk. And oh my God, this is the bold version. I also have a very small bottle of the expressive another fragrance that I am very deeply emotionally attached to this thing just gives so much just warmth and comfort and soothing and it's just so much more than the notes even express it's a feeling it is memory it is lectonic marshmallow fluffy it's warm it's sweet it's all of those things but this is just what this is one of the first full bottles of fragrance that i ever purchased in my fragrance collection i knew right away that i wanted to have this in my collection um always <laughs> and um no regrets this is i don't know if you can see where the dent is it's kind of like at the halfway point I've decanted it a couple of times. Uh, when I first purchased it, it was during the colder months. So um, yeah, I love this fragrance so much. It's, it's very special to me. And um, I'm very excited to uh, have started wearing it already. <laughs> um, this past week, I've worn it a couple of times. Uh, let me show you actually, cause I, I haven't been spraying. I sprayed from this at first, but I also received a, a small size from Sephora digital events. And I had almost, I don't know how I forgot that I had it. I'm just like, Oh, let me just throw this in my bag so I can, I can wear it this way. Let me go get that. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is the sort of sample travel size that I got from Sephora digital events. I think because of my Sephora VIB status or something, I got this and they also sent a sample size of commodity juice and gold, which I'm not really sure how I feel about this fragrance. I'll talk about this later, maybe in another video, but they sent me an expressive of juice, which, you know, I already have this first travel size that I got, but I'm glad to have um, these as well, especially since they were both complimentary. But this is the, the milk one that I've been putting in my bag and wearing uh, this week for a couple of days. I really like this packaging as well. Okay, so let's see. Ebony Wood by Zara. This is one of the latest fragrances that I picked up from Zara. I talked about this, I think, in my last video. And... I mean, it's called Ebony Wood. 
it is the perfect fragrance to wear right now as it's getting cooler i know at least here in new york we have a few more hot days that are going to be coming up but um this is one that i definitely just love to pick up and smell but that i feel will also wear wonderfully as it gets colder it is it has great longevity and projection this fragrance so i can't wait to start wearing that this month i also this morning noticed that you know among my body mists <laughs> This Finery New Rouge Body Mist, which I flipped over when I initially got it, I haven't been wearing it for months and it's almost done. So I'm gonna add this to my September tray to try and just finish it up for if no other reason than to have make some room in my vanity because of all the body mist that are in there. But I was spraying it this morning. I'm just like, this is still amazing. I still really love this. So I'm gonna try and wear it this month and finish it up. Uh, this is Zara's uh, Red Temptation in Vani, which came out in a series of these red bottles. I don't remember exactly what that series was called. But this is a thick uh, cacao explosion, uh, vanilla, and Red Temptation, which I am obsessed with. I love the Red Temptation uh, fragrance, and I think this would actually do better when it's colder. I'm not quite sure if it is really cold enough to wear this. I think this is going to do well in October, December, but I'm going to add it to the September fragrance tray anyway and just try it out but i think that i mean this stuff is this stuff is so <laughs> just heavy and thick that i think the the winter like really cold it's gonna do well at that time uh the next fragrance i put on my tray is red temptation again but this is uh zara red zara sweet temptation and it is as it says it's you know red temptation i think it's combined with another Zara fragrance. I don't know if it's it's Zara, it's a gourmand, but it's it's sweet, like it says, and I love it. And I think Red Temptation is just a really great fragrance, again, for the cooler months. So uh, I'm gonna try and wear this, see how far I can get with this small bottle uh, this month as well. And then lastly, Amore Cafe by Mancera. Now, I think this is also another fragrance. It's it's sweet and not syrupy sweet, but it is, it's got a lot going on in it. But I think as with, if this is the second fragrance that I gotten from Mancera. The first one is Roses and Vanille. I doubt that this will be the last one. I really love the way that Mancera blends their fragrances. Um, I don't think that this is overpowering. I don't think that it's too thick. I don't think that it's too sweet. So I do think that this will be nice uh, in the colder months. I haven't worn it out yet. So this month will be the first time wearing this, but I'm also excited to see how this wears when it gets colder as well. Uh, so these are kind of just beginner fragrances for my September fragrance tray. Um, ideally I would love to wear these when it's like even colder than it's going to be this September. Cause like I said, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's getting cold in the mornings, but we've got some 80 degree, uh, days left, I believe at least at the end of this week before it starts to transition to just getting increasingly colder. And, and I'm, that is when I think these fragrances are going to shine this is completely new to me um this is my second time doing this but i'm excited because instead of looking at it as a restriction to what i can wear because obviously i can still wear fragrances outside of this fragrance tray i'm also looking at it as you know wearing the fragrances that i have <laughs> you know because it's getting a little crazy for me from week to week or every couple of weeks you know, there's a new fragrance. I have a very long list of fragrances that I want to try. I haven't mentioned this yet, but I've been putting uh, my fragrance wish list in this fragrance journal made by uh, amazing YouTube content creator fragrance 
uh, content creator Vania Mikkel. She created this fragrance journal. I'll talk more about it in another video. But I have a long list of fragrances that I want to try, and I can't try them all at once. In fact, I don't even think that's a smart idea. But I do think what is smart is to experience the fra experience the fragrances that I have and that I love, and report back on on that experience. So. That's part of what uh, creating fragrance trays has been doing for me. Uh, I suspect that might be the goal as well. So that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.